Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. We hope you had a, a great week, and thanks for joining us right here on The Road Show. You are taking a live look outside at beautiful Newport Harbor. Kids, it's a short week. A short week. Right? Love Monday, a week Tuesday, like Wednesday, <laughs> then it's over. Then you can put your stretchy pants on Wednesday night and eat, your, your, pants. eat your way through the weekend. <laughs> Eat your way through the weekend. That sounds like heaven. Sounds like sounds fantastic right? to me, right? My kids don't have school on Wednesday, so they have like a two-day week. No, they don't. We always had school on Wednesdays. Oh, yeah, I always had school on Wednesdays. I too. know. How do we get in on that deal? You I had a big know. weekend. We had a big weekend. Right. Huge weekend. We had um, the Super Bowl. Right. On Saturday. So we have some video of that one because that was a fun game. Look at this. All right, so here they are playing, right? That's Alex, okay. number seven. There he is. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like <laughs> am I missing something? Did I lose my hearing? <laughs> I didn't know if they were going to roll the, the sound. Well, like, where am I? I hope they can hear us. You know what? All right, you, so this is Barrington playing me. Cumberland on the Super Bowl Division Two. Okay. Nice. I don't know plays that well, guys, but well, that was a play the that they just got a touchdown the other team. <laughs> that that's not point, it. Correct? We come back. All right. Watch this play right here. This was a, like a, oh, there's Alex. He, oh. said, he said, no, not today, guys. He's going right in for Boom. that touchdown. Okay. And before that, he said, just give me the ball, guys. I'm going to get these eight yards. And he did. And they won the Super Bowl. Fantastic. I was so proud of them. Did you shoot the video? Were you uh, on the sidelines? This was 12 shooting it. Oh, they were there wow. that day. And then this was, um, this was another big game. Oh, another play. There's Alex, number seven. That's my oh. Alex, my guy. This was a big game for them because these boys have played together since they were in sixth grade. Okay. Um, they're best friends, a lot of them. So it was really fun. Got it. This is great. That's great. I Congratulations that. to the McCollum family. So that was family. a big, big, big right. win. Um, the house was on like cloud nine, and WPI also interviewed my son Alex after the game, which is really cool to see. So check this out. It's amazing. It's everything I've ever wanted. I, I, I mean, I just, I'm so proud of this team, how far we've come. All the way from, you know, the summer packs. It, it, it's, it's special, man. This is a great group of guys, and this is everything I've ever wanted. We did it. We stopped them on the uh, two goal line stands, which is amazing. And uh, I tell you, it was quite a hot check for me. Oh, <laughs> my good gracious. But we did it, and I'm so pleased. So these kids really worked hard. They deserve it. They did work hard, and this was, again, just a big, the big game. And, you right. know, these kids really, you know, again, you, as parents, every parent out there knows you see the blood, sweat, and tears behind the scenes. You show up at a game like this. Mm -hmm. Both teams played phenomenal. Cumberland played phenomenal. It went all the way to the end. So it was just, a, it was Look. really like a nail biter. My heart was, like, beating. My friend Robin was next to me. I was grabbing right, her right, arm right. the entire game. Well, of course, it's your kid. It's your kid and your, your son. You're, you're so proud of him. And he is in... He's an incredible player. He's incredible. He won MVP of the game, so I will give him a shout out for that. Right. He had a great he had a, the game. I said you have Pretty to have awesome. the game of your life. That's what we said, and he, and he had a great game. That's All fantastic. the kids did. I can I'm like you. that diplomatic mom. Everybody played awesome. You can't win a game with one person. So Brent, great, great. Brendan, I've never had anybody ever say that about me. <laughs> I've never played a day. We of, can't do a great show I without a team. I have never played a day of sports in my life. I'm shocked. <laughs> Not a, ever. I'm inspired. I'm gonna have the show of my life. Yeah. Right have the show of your life. Come and on you know, there. So maybe I might have the show of my life on Wednesday because I'm gonna be live out there with fantastic. that team. What do we say? 42. I'm wearing. You're number 42. Wearing jersey number 42. You don't want to miss that on, on Wednesday. But today's Monday. Congrats to those young Fantastic. men. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Good morning, Will. Good, Good morning, morning, Audrey. Good morning. Great to see you both. Well, as we all know, there is, in fact, a stupid day for everything nowadays. And this week is no exception. For example, today, November 20th, is National Absurdity Day. And as someone who absolutely adores all things absurd and nonsensical, I love this. I really am the poster child for all things stupid and absurd. And if you don't believe me, perhaps I should jot down all of the reasons why. Well, maybe another time. But even more importantly, to, what am I going to do with this, Audrey? It's hurting my back. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, November 21st, is World Television Day, which celebrates this glorious medium that allows us to connect each and every morning. Now, why do I invoke this other than to fill precious minutes of powerful network affiliate airtime? It's because tonight is the perfect celebration of the medium I love as far as I'm concerned as get ready for this. David Letterman will join Stephen Colbert on The Late Show right here on WPRI 12, your favorite station at 11.35 p.m. Now, this is a major television event. It'll be Letterman's first visit back to the Ed Sullivan Theater in over eight years as he hosted The Late Show from 1993 until 2015. Now, if you know anything about me, it's number one, 
I sleep with a nightlight. But number two and more importantly, David Letterman is the main reason I chose to pursue this crazy career in broadcasting and talk show hosting. That's right, it's all his fault. I admired him and he inspired me to go down this comedic path to pursue this line of work with everything I had which really isn't much if you've ever seen me right here on the road show, but I actually was his intern way back in 2003. And Audrey, I have a picture of when I met him those many years ago. It's today's edition of a Brendan Kirby favorite, Road Show and Tell. Now look at this. I, <laughs> I was a very confused 20 year old young man. Look at those glasses. I look like Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Thank you. This was uh, taken in the offices of the Ed Sullivan Theater. Uh, you really can't beat the polo shirt over the crew neck t-shirt look of the early 2000s, can you? And I swear this picture was taken in 2003, not sometime in the late 19th century. My grandmother used to have this hanging in her kitchen, so the sun used to hit it, which is why it's tremendously faded. But look at me right there. I can't imagine why there wasn't a girlfriend in sight. Oh, what do you like to do? Well, I like to stay up late and wait for the top 10 on Letterman. <laughs> but there you go, a disturbing photo on so many levels. But I beg David Letterman, Dave, if you're watching, could we please reenact this photo? Audrey, I think we need an updated yes. version. I think it would be good for both of us. <laughs> I mean, I never would have achieved this level of massive local superstardom here on the road show without what I learned on his show. I mean, I'm a talk show host myself now, Audrey. You know, I'm a comedian, a published author, and a writer, so who knows? Maybe we can make that happen, and we'd love to invite him here on the road show. Why not? I'd write a cold open for us. He was the master of the cold open. I think we could do it. And as my father would say, I think it would be glorious. So there you go. <laughs> and if what I've done right here this morning seems gratuitous and self-serving, well, that's because it is. So don't forget to watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert with special guest David Letterman tonight right here. Again, your favorite station, WPRI 12. And I love that Letterman is still around and appearing on shows. This is so very cool. So that's that. You're here. We're here. It's Monday. It's a short week. Thanksgiving is on the horizon. As Will said, we've got our stretchy pants ready to go. But before we get to that, we've got the Roadshow. We'll take it away, bud. We're in the Roadshow kitchen.